Welcome back to Nom Talk Network. I'm Jen, and today on Geek Juice, I employed my buddy Justin to help walk us through an old fashion that's inspired by the latest release of Kingsman. For this wonderful old fashioned, one of my favorite things about old fashions is that it's a really simple ingredients list and you can kind of tailor make it to be really whatever you want. I really enjoy my bitters, but he ends up throwing some lavender bitters into mine to really make the profile something that mixes well with my palette. But we've got a couple different choices that we're going to walk you through today. You prefer the fennel, correct? I do prefer fennel. It's probably my favorite bitters in the entire world of bitters. He's a licorice human. If oh that yeah. Helps put in. If I drink absinthe straight. So some of the interesting things about bitters is they always have this really fun unique aroma so that one's got a little bit of your licorice for them right yeah and this is Pei Chowd's aromatic cocktail bitters the one that you'll most likely see everywhere is the Angus Angostura Angostura yeah. this is probably the most relatively colloquial popularized one near us at Angostura least. bitters is like one of the most popular things in bitters and then Scrappies is one that's really fun because it comes in this tiny little bottle so you get more of like a sample set to see if you want to invest in your bigger bottle and this one we have orange so that if you don't have your oranges available, you can still get some of those flavor notes just pulling through your bitters. One of my absolute favorite bitters, again, like I said, is the lavender, but it comes from this place called Green Bar, yes. which is local to us and incredible. It's also where he gets his fennel That's from. Where my fennel comes from, yep. They had a whole slew of really unique, interesting they flavors. Really did. Oh, it just makes the drink so much more complex from just them. Ugh. All right, okay. let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put your ice. Now, we have some fancy big block ice cubes that Jen made, but a regular ice is fine. It's what I normally make it with. I just make it with ice from the fridge from a home. So one thing I will say about ice with cocktails is if you wouldn't put the water with your whiskey, don't put it in your ice. Correct. So I like to use my fancy bougie Northern California Dunsmuir water yeah. <laughs> from it Castle makes, Rock. It makes good ice cubes. These guys are an incredible company. They will ship pretty much anywhere as far as we could tell and their customer service is like next to none. They were phenomenal. just phenomenal humans. It was a great experience working with them. The idea of making your ice cubes, these aren't as crystal clear because they've been sitting in my freezer waiting for us to film this. But if you can get crystal clear water, you can use anything that you want to, but you wouldn't necessarily take your bourbon and pour it under the sink. So if that's how you're making your ice cubes, more power to you, but also feel a little bougie. Make yourself yeah. some, some bougie ice. Even if you use Aquafina or Dasani. Now, <laughs> I kind of do it a little bit differently than a lot of bartending books and bartending schools will tell you to because I put the bitters in first. Well, we're also at-home bartenders, which is a little bit different than when you're on an assembly line. Accurate. Uh, being, we are both professional bartenders at a certain age. I don't want to tell you how long ago. Make it your own. If you're a professional and you're sitting here going, that's completely wrong, that's fine. But I enjoy this at my house. So I like to do between two to four dashes of bitters, and usually they have a nice little open top like that so you can kind of just one two and that's done so now i also tend to make mine a little stiffer because i'm six foot eight and irish and, and my him. wife's german i'm gonna go with two ounces of bourbon and i would probably have put three dashes of bitters in there or four but that's because i really like that fennel taste the next thing you're gonna want is simple syrup now we have homemade simple syrup it's very easy if you watched our valentine's day video equal parts sugar and water you can also flavor these we did a last one i believe with some Strawberry. strawberries mm -hmm. but you can do it with orange which really then would, would max your flavor profile too so after you do that usually i do it with ice cubes instead of a large ice cube like this but it, it'll mix the same with your bar spoon it's not a big deal matter of fact it's almost easier it's fun and it's fancy sort of spin it. the next thing you're gonna want is you're gonna want a piece of orange peel to zest in there now i cheat a lot of bartenders use a paring knife and i used to use a paring knife but why would you ever do that when you can just get a fruit peeler and literally if you guys haven't done. noticed from watching these i'm not very coordinated so paring knives are a no-go for me so you want to bend it and sort of squeeze it in there which if you look close enough we're not going to get this on it camera just but a little bit of a splash of that citrus is going to go in there and then just sort of rim your top of your glass with it and and fancy dancy. You can always curl it, do whatever you want to do as an added garnish. Usually you can go around the top of the orange in a very thin manner and it will make a nice little corkscrew. <laughs> this is delightful for me though. One of the things I really like about old fashions is they usually have their fancy ass glasses to go with it. So as you can see, Dustin's bitters actually have a little bit, can you see that in the light? A red tint, yeah. Yeah, which actually come out quite beautifully. So cheers. Thank you. After all, manners make it man. So good. We hope you really enjoyed this today. Let us know below what you want to see next and check out Kingsman. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> tree down. I punched the tree. I punched the tree. <gasps>